D. In the Crayola State Crayon Collection, which of these colors is a playful take on the name of a state capital? Gray Patteris, Sacramento, Grand Canyon, Williams Burgundy. <laughs> uh, these are great names. Also, sound a little bit like drag queens. Williams Burgundy, I'd like to see her show. I think she'd be pretty good. I think as an Angelino, it would be pretty embarrassing, I think, if I missed this. So I think, yeah, I will say final answer, B, Sacramento. Sacramento is correctamundo. Yes, that's right. You've got $4,000 for $8,000. Alluding to a common phenomenon among those who apply makeup, a recent Pop Sugar headline asked, why do I open my mouth whenever I do what? Exfoliate, apply mascara, put on perfume, moisturize. You know, I, I actually read this article. You did? <laughs> I did. <laughs> I, I was, I, and I was Is fascinated. this when you were supposed to be studying for your doctorate? Well, there were a lot of supposed to be's, <laughs> but I've got to say that's for sure. Um, but yeah, while, while I think someone could open their mouth when they do all of these things, I certainly wouldn't recommend it if you're putting on perfume, and depending on what you're exfoliating, be careful. Uh, but yeah, I think apply mascara seems like the best answer for this one. Jake? Do you concur? Yeah, I concur. That's what's jumping out to me. I did not read this article, but I'm going to go with your gut instinct on this one, JD. All right, great. I'll send you the link. Okay, perfect. Uh, and and we'll we'll reconvene. But yeah, I will say I will say final answer B, apply mascara. Mascara is the answer we were looking for. Yes. Yeah, now I'm thinking of it. It's like Yeah, try to... I do it when I shave, by the way. Yeah, I do the same. Or sometimes I actually like. Do, I like really. There's tighten. a reason for it though, because when you shave, it, it it stretches things out. But yeah. mascara, I don't. It's just one of those weird quirks of the human body. Got to. I bet. I bet if we really thought about it, Williams Burgundy is always always <laughs> opening yeah. her mouth and just put on that <laughs> mascara right before a show. I really hope someone takes up that nickname. <laughs> maybe it could be some kind of a colonial outfit, you know? You know, maybe six months to a year from now, you'll you'll turn on a, a TV show and you'll see somebody who looks an awful lot like me strutting her Sashaying stuff. Sashaying away. <laughs> Sashaying yeah. away. All right. <laughs> All jokes aside, you've got $8,000. You haven't used any of your lifelines and your next question is for 16000 Ben Affleck said he was told to shut up when he asked why it was easier to train oil drillers to be astronauts and not vice versa when he worked on what movie? Pearl Harbor, Reindeer Games, Goodwill Hunting, Armageddon. I can't think of Reindeer Games, Goodwill Hunting, Pearl Harbor. None of those involved oil drilling, to my knowledge. Jake? Yeah. Bruce Willis, Ben Affleck, Liv Tyler, Armageddon, definitely. Yeah, single tear right at that ending. Yeah. Just, a, just a heartbreaker. Classic. Spoiler alert. <laughs> it could be a tear of joy, a tear of sadness. I would never want to ruin this for, for America, but uh, if they haven't watched it now. It times up, yeah. It times up, but also they've got, a, they've got a minute to be at home and watch a movie. So maybe, maybe you're welcome. If you don't watch it now, it's never going to happen. Yeah, so I will say uh, final answer, D, Armageddon. That is absolutely correct, yes. Yeah. You got $16,000. Now it's time to get serious. Your next question is for $32,000. If you're offered plates to throw, be aware that these plates are typically not free. Is money-saving advice from Trip Savvy to those traveling where? Greece, Spain, India, Brazil. All right. So my first, my initial thought was Greece. I feel like I see people throwing plates in Greece. Jake, what are your thoughts? Yeah, similar. When uh, the question first popped up, Greece was in my head even before the answer. We saw the, the possible answer. So um, I've never been. I'd love to go, but <laughs> I think it's Greece. I really want to win a million dollars. So I, I think I need to 
throw caution to the wind here because, or throw plates, throw plates to the wind, I guess. <laughs> but uh, I really want to save my lifelines till, until I get to these, the, the, the big ones. And I think because both of us had grease in our heads before the, the answers came out, <laughs> this is what they do on the show when people get nervous for these kinds of things. <laughs> I am about to bet thirty-one thousand dollars that that it is a Greece final answer. Greece is the word. Yeah, that's what we're. Looking for. restaurant when they start throwing plates and you're like what the hell's going on here everybody else opa oh yeah it's fun i've had thanksgivings like that but never never <laughs> greek restaurant for different reasons all right yeah. you got thirty two thousand dollars jd he wants to go to a million it seems like maybe he can do it we'll find out when we come back with JD, who has $32,000, perfect so far. You've used none of your lifelines. Did you watch this show when you were a kid? Yeah, well, I, I think every American, I mean, I also grew up like Midwest, like this is primetime TV. Regis Philbin, what a charming New York accent, I'd never heard one before, kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, I remember I was like at a family reunion in the summer that this premiered, and it was like it. Yeah, sure. It. And you, at that point, decided one day I would like to win a million dollars, or this come later? You know, I, I remember as a as a 12 or 13 year old saying, I want to be a millionaire. That that seems to make sense. Why so, not? Why not? Yeah, every moment of my life has led to this. All right, here we go. JD is a uh, psychologist. You've gone through a lot of these questions very quickly. You have $32,000. You can't leave with less than $32,000, but you have to make a choice now. You still have three lifelines left, and you have to decide if you want to trade one of those lifelines for a chance to use Jacob one more time. Yeah, I definitely want to use Jacob one more time. So I've got the 50-50 phone a friend, Ask the ask, host. Ask the host. Ask Jimmy. Now, I feel like you often downplay yourself as not a particularly valuable asset, but I feel like you and I have a very different, like, knowledge maybe base. Maybe so. Yeah, maybe so. Yeah, Which we might be well paired here. I think we. I think we will be. I remember watching the Man Show as a child and thinking, I'm not the target audience. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> That makes me feel like we're coming from a very different place. I guess so, yeah. Yeah. Now, if there's a question about farting, you can count on me. Uh, I think I want to trade in my 50-50, because if I have to narrow it down to two at this point, I don't know that, that that's going to be as helpful. So I would like to trade my 50-50 my for, for Jake. Okay. All right. Computer, let's make that trade. We say goodbye to 5050 and we say goodbye to Jacob for now, but we will probably see you a bit later. All right, JD, you're only five questions away from a million dollars. Let's play. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Like for real this time. The $64,000 question is Wasting no time getting interesting. What hit musical? opens with a male lead referring to another character as a bastard, orphan, son of a whore. The Phantom of the Opera, Hamilton, Dear Evan Hansen, The Book of Mormon. <laughs> you know, I uh, literally listened to this today. And so I am very excited to no, with absolute certainty. Final answer, this is Hamilton. B, absolutely. And that is correct, it is Hamilton. You said we didn't have a lot of crossover, but even I knew that one. Yeah. I mean, that, you know, that's probably as far as it goes for musicals, as far as I'm concerned. But very well done, very exciting. Is your mom watching right now? I, she is watching. My, my parents are absolutely watching. I recently defended my dissertation, elevated from Mr. to Doctor. They were happy. 
When they heard I would be on this show, they were ecstatic. Oh, really? Oh, they are. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. Did they give you any advice? Uh, have fun. Good luck. Buy us something nice. <laughs> yeah. Well, you're going to be able to buy them something nice because your next question is for $125,000. You still have all your lifelines. Woo. Where is the Oort cloud? Inside the brain? Over the North Pole? At the edge of the solar system? In cyberspace. Well, this one I can also safely say without hesitation. I do not know the answer. Oh, okay. I was like, wow. <laughs> can you imagine? <laughs> uh, no, I don't. I don't know the answer to this one. Inside the brain. I don't think it's that. I've learned a lot about the brain, okay. and That's good. Uh, and I don't believe that it is that. Although, how embarrassing will it be if it is? Very. Uh, yeah, truly, truly, madly, deeply. Uh, so I will say over the North Pole, edge of the solar system, in cyberspace. I don't think it would be in cyberspace, but I don't really know. This feels like exactly the right moment to use my phone a friend. Tell us about your phone a friend. So my phone a friend is a man named Brian, Brian Walsh, who is a PhD in physics, and he works as a climate change economist. Okay. Well, let's call him up then, huh? Yeah, please. Let's get him on the line. Hello? Brian? Jimmy? Hi. <laughs> yeah, it's Jimmy. Kimmel. Hi, how are you? How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you doing? I'm here with JD. He's going for $125,000. Yeah. And he feels like maybe this is a good spot for you, okay? JD is going to read you a question and four possible answers. You have 30 seconds. It starts now. Where is the Oort cloud? O-O-R-T. Where is the Oort cloud? Is it A, inside the brain, B, over the North Pole, C, at the edge of the solar system, D, in cyberspace? Um, my guess would be the edge of the solar system. That sounded spatial to me even before you said, uh... How certain are you about this guess? Uh, that... I'm... 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 I feel pretty confident. All right. Thank you. You got a satisfying answer. Most don't. I did. I did. Semi-satisfying. That sounds like it's in space. It, it feels pretty good. Man, have you ever had to make a single, like, decision that would determine, like, just like a, a multiple choice to decision to make this much money? Yes, um, I've been on Millionaire. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, that's true. That's right. How'd you do? I got $125,000. Oh. All right, so if I if I get this, it means we're I'm, tied. We're peers. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, I don't think this is a Jacob question. Um, you are. I, I can't look at him to confirm, but I'm. This doesn't feel like a like a Jake question. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say this doesn't feel like a Jimmy question. You know what? I'm gonna gamble a lot of money right now, and I am going to go with Brian. If I lose a lot of money, he's gonna take me out to a real nice dinner, I bet. He knows a lot about economics, so he can probably afford it. What are you gonna do if he's right? If he's right, I will, I mean, $125,000 is like, I made 35 grand last year. Like that's a that's a nice that's a nice helping. Yeah. So I I'm going to I want to I want to win a million dollars and I'm not going to win a million dollars uh by by playing it safe right now. So I'm I'm going to say at the edge of the solar system C final answer. Should I take a break now and then tell you the answer? Or should I just tell you the answer? I'd prefer to know now. You'd like to know now? Yes. Okay. 
What does Brian do again? He's a physicist and an economist. Why did we doubt him for even a moment? He's absolutely correct. <laughs> At the edge of the solar system. That's wild. Yeah, that that's wild. <laughs> and there's more money to win. There's more money to come. JD oh. is on a roll. He is three questions away from one million dollars. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Millionaire. JD Bart is in the hot seat. He has one hundred twenty-five thousand dollars right now. He has two of his lifelines. One of them is me. I wish you kept that 50-50 instead of me. I'm not great with it. Well, I guess, you know what? I'll do my best. Let's play. Let's do it. Let's play millionaire. Here we go. For two hundred fifty thousand dollars, J.D., Meryl Streep has been nominated for an Oscar for acting a record 21 times and has won three times for Kramer versus Kramer, Sophie's Choice, and what? Doubt, The Iron Lady, The Bridges of Madison County, Julie and Julia. Okay. This feels great. I love Meryl Streep. She's an icon and a legend. And I remember her giving an Oscar speech in recent years, which means it has to be Doubt or The Iron Lady because Kramer vs. Kramer, Sophie's Choice are both older than that. So... You've hosted the Oscars a number of times, so you might know the answer to this. And... I feel like this is a good, a good Jacob question too. In preparing for this, I know Jake has studied some Oscar history and Oscar trivia. I did some as well. Um, this is adjacent to some of the facts I know with certainty, but but not one of them. So I wanna, um, I'd like to tap Jake here. Okay, you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Jake, let's bring the lights up. There he is. What do you think, Jake? Pressure is on. Um, JD, I am like 99% sure that oh. it is the Iron Lady. Oh. I remember the gold dress she wore that year. It is iconic. Um, yeah, the Iron Lady. <laughs> she played Margaret Thatcher. She was phenomenal. Yeah, that feels, that feels right to me. I think Viola Davis won for doubt, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, would you would you bet? Uh, you know, either I, I, I'm looking at 125 I could win, right, or a, a lot that I could lose. 93, 93. 93. Yeah. I mean, you know me. I feel like I'm a little bit more conservative, but I feel like I would go for this. Like, the only one that I could maybe see, like the one percent, would be doubt. I don't think it's Julie and Julia. Um, and then, doubt is literally you know, instilling yeah. doubt yeah. <laughs> in you. That would be cruelly ironic, um, but I, I really think it's the Iron Lady. Well, I'm, I'm thinking about it in terms of time, and if it's only one of these, I, I'm glad that I know that it is just one of these. It would actually be much harder if it was which one of these did she not win for. But I think you're right, because doubt was a while ago, because doubt was, the, was a big break for Viola Davis. And she, she has had such a huge career since then. And so, I mean, she had a huge career before then as well, but uh, she really became a household name and she's had all the TV and all the things. <laughs> I'm so glad we're really making this about Viola Davis. <laughs> like that's, that's ultimately the real win. The real win. And uh, honestly, if she's watching, huge fan, huge, <laughs> huge fan. You're 99% sure, Jake? I mean, I'm, I'm very aware of the stakes at the moment. Yeah. Like, I recognize the fact that you are playing for a quarter of a million dollars. Um, so I don't want to guide you incorrectly, but 
you know, that was just, that was a great role for uh, the, the Iron Lady. She was amazing. The Iron Lady, is that the one where Robert Downey Jr. has the rockets and he and Spider-Man fight the... Yeah, yeah. Well, that was Iron Iron Lady Winter Soldier. Oh, I see. Okay, you're thinking right. of. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, that was the sequel <clears throat> to that. I... I mean, I know this is such a like obvious thing to say. I really want to win a million dollars. I want you to like win a million dollars. I, I can't. Yeah, uh, you know. Jake doesn't want you to win. He's jealous back there. <laughs> yeah, that's that's right. He's sabotaging me. That's what that's what's hidden under the hair. It's deceit. <laughs> um, am I gonna do this? Am I gonna say? <laughs> I really think it would be a shame to walk away. And, and that we knew the answer, yeah. you know, and that we talked ourselves out of it. We, we know the answer. It's yeah. the Iron Lady. I, I, it's, a, it's a matter of do you want to do you want to risk that on the, you know, infinitesimal chance that that it's somehow incorrect. But I think we know this one. And I think I, 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 I think, yeah, I think that's the right choice. I can't believe I'm saying this. I am going to. I'm going to bet. $93,000. How much do you make a year? <laughs> this year, I, I, I make the most I've ever made, which is 50. 50. 50 grand. I am a doctor of psychology, and that's where I've capped out. So, I mean, where I am right now, 125 grand could get me out of a couple of jams. That's, I'm not, that's, that's no joke, but. You could take a few years off I, if you wanted to. I, I really could. That is years of where it will be a while before I make that kind of money but I will be okay leaving with 32 if I don't get this right I'm I, I and I just I'm never gonna be here again I'm never gonna get this opportunity again I have friends that are screaming at home because yeah. they know the answer to this I'm about to start <laughs> screaming yeah. you know the answer to this no it's not that it's just I'm just nerve I have a lot of anxiety oh, okay. Okay. I want you to win Okay, great. I want me to win, too. Yeah. I'm not going to win if I leave right now. Jake knows Meryl. It's Meryl Street trivia. We got this. We've got this. Come on. All right. <laughs> All right. All right. The psych up is real. All right. I am going to say B, the Iron Lady, is my final answer. <laughs> What percent sure were you? 99.9% sure. 0.9? We're, we're so close to 100. I don't know why I'm nervous. It's the Iron Lady. It, it, it is. He's right. It's the Iron Lady. Oh, my God. What? It's the Iron Lady. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you need a break. We're going to take a break. You've got $250,000. Let's go all the way to a million. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. Tensions are high here in a very good way. J.D. Barton is in the hot seat. He has his doctorate in psychology. He doesn't earn that much from it, but he earned a lot here tonight. He has $250,000. Okay, so let's say you win a million dollars. What are you going to do with the money? Thing one would be taking all of my family, brothers, sisters, in-laws, nieces, nephews, parents, on some just ridiculous, extravagant, Trip. Like go to Greece and throw plates or something like that? Yeah, with, and eat Blue Lobster. <laughs> yeah, something. Maybe we'll go to England and learn about Margaret Thatcher because she just earned me a lot of money. Yeah, as did your pal Jacob back there, who really a lot of people, they want to protect themselves, and they'll be like, well, I think it's, but it's your decision. Jake was like, I am not, he upped it from 99% to 99.9% .9 and really pushed you through there. So well done, Jacob. Thank, Thank you. you. I hope you get to go on the vacation too. It seems like, it seems like the least JD can do. <laughs> I, I sure hope so. You tell him, Jake. All right. I told him. He knows. All right. We're, uh, unfortunately, we have to say goodbye to you now because you, as a lifeline, you, you've been used. And now we're going to continue, though. 
We're going to play for a million dollars. First stop, half a million dollars. Let's play millionaire. Here we go. All of a sudden, the 250 doesn't seem like so much for $500,000. Confusing for English speakers, Anno is the word for yes in which of these languages? Czech, Korean, Arabic, Portuguese. Well, I believe it's the word for year in Spanish. And so Spanish is similar enough to Portuguese, and I'm pretty sure the word for yes in Portuguese is also C, but like in a different Portuguese way. Uh, so I think I can knock that off. I feel like Arrested Development taught me that the that yes in Korean is Anyang. I know they say Anyang a lot. I have only been to Portugal of all of these countries. I really don't know. So I, 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 you're more well-traveled than I am, I'm assuming. I hope, I hope. You haven't been in grad school for the last eight years, so hopefully you've gotten some time away. So I would like to activate Ask the Host, and I would like for the $250,000 pay raise that would come with this question, I'd like to talk to you. <laughs> you mean me? Yeah. I mean you. Okay, are you sure? Jimmy Kimmel, All right. host of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Now, just to be clear, I do not have the answers. But if you're asking what I think, I have to be totally honest and tell you, I honestly have no idea. What you said was my first thought, too, but it's not Ano, it's Año in Spanish. Yeah, with it's an here. It's mm -hmm. Año with a... So... That could still be it. I know I've not actually narrowed it down for you. I've expanded it for you. I've not been to any of these countries. I've also never been asked to help out on a $500,000 question before. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to lead you in the wrong direction, uh, I, you know, because uh, I, I don't see how we even figure this out. I wish I was sitting over in the dark with Jacob right now, really. That's what I wish. I hate that my final answer to you is I don't know, but I don't know is my final answer. All right. <clears throat> I really want to win a million dollars, but there's very little in my life that a million dollars can give me that $250,000 can't give me. I I, 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 I don't think it's worth this risk to drop down, God, $218,000 on something that really would be a guess for both of us. I appreciate your help on that. Uh, that wasn't sarcastic. It sounded so, and I apologize. <laughs> Not at all. Um, I feel I failed you, but it's your call, obviously. What would you do with $500,000? Would you take more of your family on a trip, even the ones you don't like? Oh, I mean, they're busy, they're, I'm sure. <laughs> They've got a lot on their plate. Maybe it's better to have a lower amount. <laughs> yeah, right, that's true. Maybe, maybe it'll just... Yeah, Uncle Larry might want to come if you have too much money. I'll curate a nice boutique family vacation for a nice boutique family, just nice and small. You know, I... This is a nice middle, middle point, but, but I think I have to walk away. I think I'm gonna learn. I'm gonna take the money that I have to learn whichever is the right answer because <laughs> I can afford that, that luxury personal one-on-one -on -one tutoring and uh -huh. tutelage. Um, but $250,000, I could do an awful lot for my family. I could do an awful lot for myself. I could do a bunch for Jake. So I think I have to walk away. You could get Jake a haircut. <laughs> I could get Jake hair extensions. That's probably what Jake would prefer. Um, 
So I think with all all said and done, I think I will walk away. I can't even believe this is this is such a celebration that it was for me. I'm going to very happily walk away with two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Is that your final answer? <sighs> yes, it is my final answer. Okay. So now you know how it goes, right? Yeah. If you had gone for it, maybe I should guess too. Yeah. What would I have gone for? Uh, weird that a no is a yes. Oh, that's why it's confusing for English speakers. Okay, yeah. I didn't even. Uh. Uh. I <laughs> know. Uh, I know. I uh, know. I. I don't know. It sounds maybe like it's a Korean word to me. So that's what I would guess. Korean. What about you? I know. I could not think of a single word in Czech. I could think of what sound. It doesn't sound Arabic. So, I, I'm gonna. I would guess Czech. Okay. I don't know if this is gonna be good news or bad news, but it was Czech. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Czech. Yeah. Mm. You gotta check yourself before you wreck yourself. You know. And I and I can cash a check <laughs> for two hundred fifty thousand dollars. That's right. That's dollars. the important check. Well done, JD. I might give you this spot. J.D. Barton is walking away with $250,000. Enjoy it. Thanks yeah. for being here. Thank you so much. We'll be right back. to be a millionaire we don't need celebrities our next player puts her life on the line every day she is a registered nurse in the icu tonight hopefully we're going to send her home with a lot of money please welcome amanda sheehan hello amanda Well, thank you. How are you? Doing well, are you nervous? Always, always, but extra, extra spicy today. When you say you're always nervous when you go to work, well, yeah, you are risking your life at work. Yes. Every day, and I would imagine the ICU is a tough place to be nowadays. Yeah, it, it's been an interesting couple months. So I'll, I'll give you that. Yeah. Yeah. I see you're getting emotional thinking about it. Yeah, it's it's part of it's being here. It's just really surreal, and I'm. Flashing back to elementary school, watching this with Regis on the air. Um, Regis went to your elementary school? No. <laughs> um, no. You look so young. <laughs> <laughs> right? Got a lot of work done. We're in LA. You know how it is. <laughs> well, give me that information for your doctor. So, okay. So you're at the hospital every day? Working? Um, three days a week, yes. Three days three a week. Helps. Working with people, uh, yes. very sick people. Yes. Uh, their relatives can't come to see them. It puts a lot of pressure on you. That wouldn't necessarily be there. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to put even more pressure on you. I'm but here in for a it. good way. In a good way. This is yeah. money pressure. We want you to win a million dollars tonight. Me too. You're 15 questions away from a million dollars. I think you know how it works. You get three lifelines, 50 50 phone a friend, ask the host, and we let you bring the smartest person you know. Who is the smartest person you know? The smartest person I know is sitting right behind me is my dad. Your dad, Bob Sheehan. Hello, Bob. Hi. How are you? Good, thank you. Were you flattered that your daughter picked you as the smartest person she knows? Very much so, yes. Was your mom mad? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, that's really all a dad could ask for, is to be the smartest person his kid knows, right? Absolutely, yes. What do you do for work, Bob? I'm a uh, business manager. Of what type? Of uh, medical devices. Medical devices? Yes. So you guys are somewhat in the, in the same field. Related, sure. You must be very proud of your daughter oh, and what she does. Extremely proud. Her mom and I are, yes. What, Bob, are your areas of special expertise? I would say history and business management. Okay. I don't know that a lot of business management is going to come up. <laughs> How about you? Um, I'm pretty good on literature. Uh, Harry Potter, if you got any questions on that. <laughs> right. um, and music. Music? Okay, yeah. good. All right, Amanda and Bob, let's see how you do. You got a daughter dad team. Dad can be with you for the first 10 questions and help as much as you want him to. Are you ready to do this? Yes, let's All go. right, let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? For $100, Amanda. 
What notable part of our nation's topography accounts for roughly 20% of the fresh water on Earth? Death Valley, the Great Lakes, the Grand Canyon, Zuckerberg's hot tub. Um, well, I'm thinking Death Valley is probably not the right answer. Um, definitely thinking Zuckerberg's hot tub. I mean, I don't know the guy, but I'm assuming it's not that big. So I'm going to say B, the Great Lakes. Final answer? Final answer. Okay, and yes, that is the correct final answer, the Great Lakes. It's a lot of the water. A lot of water. Next great. question's for $200. All right. Which of these pairs of apps offers roughly the same type of service? Snapchat and Grubhub, Lyft and Uber, WhatsApp and Share It, TikTok and Spotify. I feel like a really bad millennial because I know, I think three or four of these apps. Um, so Snapchat and Grubhub are not the same because I know Snapchat is the little pictures. TikTok and Spotify, I know one's videos and one's music. WhatsApp, it's texting and share it. I don't know what that is. So I'm going to go Lyft and Uber. Final answer? Final answer. Lyft and Uber, yeah. Both ride sharing apps, yeah. Next question is for $300. You see how this goes? It just keeps going up. Yeah. Let's keep it nice and easy, though. When mating, <laughs> what female animal curves her tail up over her back to avoid stabbing her partner with her quills? Porcupine, otter, chipmunk, ferret. So, Dad, I'm thinking only porcupines have quills unless biology's changed significantly since high school. I would agree. All right, let's do porcupine. Final answer? Final answer. All right, that is the correct answer. <laughs> Next question's for $500. Though not as famous as da Vinci or DiCaprio, the Italian mathematician who discovered the Fibonacci sequence also had what first name? Matteo, Giovanni, Niccolo, Leonardo. Can I go Leonardo? Final answer. Then that is the right final answer, Leonardo. Yes. They're smart, those Leonardos. They are smart and good looking. Now, your next question is up to $1,000. Okay, comments, here we go. In his Nobel lecture, after winning the prestigious prize, who used the word apartheid five times? Mikhail Gorbachev, Al Gore, Nelson Mandela, Yasser Arafat. So, Dad, I'm thinking it's Nelson Mandela. I would agree. Okay. Let's go Nelson Mandela. Final answer. Final answer is Nelson Mandela. That's the guy. Yeah. I know they're going to get off All right, all right. We're going to check your blood pressure. All right, yeah, And uh, we'll take a break. We'll come back. We'll okay. win some money. Here we go. All, all right. right. We got a nurse here. We'll be right back. <laughs> Amanda Sheehan is in the hot seat right now. So far, Amanda has earned $1,000. She brought her dad, Bob, along to help, and they're cruising right along. Uh, let's keep cruising. Here we go. Let's play more Millionaire. Amanda, for $2,000, made mainly from soy, potato proteins, coconut, and sunflower oils, a popular meatless burger goes by which of these names? Impossible Burger? Absurd burger, inconceivable burger, outrageous burger. So, one of my favorite burger joints locally has served the Impossible Burger, and I've had it, it's delicious. Um, and I know it's the uh, meatless alternative, so that is what I'm going to go with. Final answer. Your final answer is a Impossible Burger, and that is correct, the Impossible Burger. If I win, I'll take you out. <laughs> We're in trouble. That means our submarine got hit by another submarine. No, that means we're out of time. But that doesn't mean you have to go. In fact, it just means you have to sit here for about a week. Can you do that? Yeah. <laughs> when we come back, our uh, ICU nurse, Amanda Sheehan, will be going, hopefully, for a million dollars. All right? Until then, good night. Thanks for watching.